Welcome, everyone. I'm Kathy Spahn, President and CEO of Helen Keller International, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to my favorite night of the year, the Spirit of Helen Keller Gala. We're streaming live from the Helen Keller International website, through YouTube, and on Facebook Live. This night, we come together from hundreds of living rooms all over the world as a global community to do the extraordinary, to honor the visionary Helen Keller and those who live her idea that we can all do something extraordinary to help others. And speaking of extraordinary, co-hosting with me tonight is the amazing Carla Hall, TV host, chef, author, and Helen Keller trustee. Hey there, Carla. Hi, Kathy. How are you? And hello to all of you joining us tonight. Hey, Carla. Again, I'm in New York City. I'm right in my living room, and you're now in Knoxville, right? Yep, that's right. I'm here in Knoxville getting ready to film Halloween Baking Championship from Food Network. But tonight, I'm here to help you all get inspired as I am by the life-saving work Helen Keller International does with millions of families living with the tough realities of poverty around the world. Carla and I are thrilled to introduce you to three of our incredible colleagues tonight. Each one of them is making all the difference with the communities we serve in Africa, Asia, and closer to Carla's and my homes in the United States. Throughout tonight's gala, if you are inspired to help, all you have to do is click the donate button on your screen or go to our website to hki.org slash donate. Now, you know the pandemic has turned our lives upside down. But for families we serve, it has been especially punishing. COVID has disrupted food supplies and made it harder to afford healthy food. You may or may not know that hunger is on the rise. The progress the world has made in fighting poverty and malnutrition is at risk of being reversed. But there's good news too. The pandemic has opened up many hearts to the plights of others and many among us have been inspired to help others make it through COVID and come out stronger. Helping others was what Helen Keller herself had in mind in fact. Here's a bit more on who we are. We are Helen Keller International, and we are continuing Helen Keller's extraordinary work. Helen Keller's early life is well known. Left deaf and blind after a bout of illness as a toddler, she overcame seemingly insurmountable odds to learn to read, write, and speak. Helen Keller went on to do extraordinary things. She graduated from Radcliffe College, becoming the first deaf-blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree. Soon after, she began a heroic career fighting for the world's vulnerable people. Among her most extraordinary contributions was to help launch Helen Keller International in the wake of World War I as soldiers blinded by warfare returned home, giving these soldiers the chance for care and a dignified life. Helen Keller International's work evolved to become what it is today, working with communities to help them access the essential building blocks of good health, sound nutrition, and clear vision. Helen Keller International and the scientific community overall has learned that a staggering 90% of vision loss can be prevented or treated. In the 1970s, research pinpointed vitamin A as essential to children's sight. It has also been shown to protect their health and their very survival. In places where families cannot access diverse nutritious foods, Helen Keller International gives children vitamin A supplements to ensure their opportunity to see and to live healthy lives. Helen Keller International and a global community of generous donors are helping millions of people in Africa and Asia, in Europe and the US to create healthy, full lives for themselves and their families. But COVID-19 has disrupted this uplifting story. COVID has sparked severe food shortages and exacerbated hunger and malnutrition. It has prevented families from earning a living and from accessing crucial health care. In the early months of the pandemic, over half of our programs were halted or slowed due to the virus. But we quickly pivoted. Many of Helen Keller's programs are up and running again with safety precautions in place. And yet, the tide of hunger and malnutrition continues to rise. 
In a world made shakier by the pandemic and a growing hunger crisis, Helen Keller's work is more critical than ever. With your support, we are ensuring that, like Helen herself, every person gets the help they need when they need it most. Only then can every person have the opportunity to reach their true potential. As Helen Keller said, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Thank you for being part of Helen Keller's world. Kathy, every time I see this video and I see those little kids tilt their heads back because they know they're getting their vitamin A, I get chills and then they're smiling faces. Me too, and I've seen it so many times. And as you all saw in the video, over the years, nutrition has grown to be a major focus for Helen Keller International. And as a chef, food is really important to me, but not just for reasons you may think. I was able to travel to Vietnam with Kathy and other board members to visit Helen Keller's nutrition programs in action teaching people how to grow healthy foods, even sponsoring a cooking competition where people were cooking unbelievably delicious and nutritious foods. I saw the power of the right food transform health and well-being of families. Now, we want to take you to where the action is, in Nepal, where about one million children are facing chronic malnutrition. Here's to Indra Kestri, our Outreach Communications Manager in Nepal. Hello, Namaste from Nepal. I am Indra and I work as Outreach Communications Manager for Helen Keller International in Nepal. For over 30 years, Helen Keller International has been working in Nepal to improve the sight and lives of the vulnerable by combating the causes and consequences of blindness, poor health and malnutrition. Malnutrition is a major problem in Nepal that inhibits its development potential. Around 1 million children, that is 36%, suffer from chronic malnutrition and 10% suffer from severe malnutrition. Today we are going to see how Helen Keller International frontline workers support the poor and vulnerable with some of the life-saving interventions. Let's meet Ankita. She is a community nutrition facilitator in Kapilvastu, the southernmost district of Nepal bordering with India. She visits the disadvantaged households and provides counseling to pregnant women on how to keep themselves well nourished. This is a very poor family. This girl was uh, severely malnourished. I felt very bad when I met that family because she had five children and she is again pregnant for the sixth. And the girl that we saw being treated is the fifth one. And they didn't have enough to feed for all children. A severely malnourished child is nine times more likely to die before the age of five than a healthy weight child. One of the key life-saving interventions of Helen Keller International in Nepal is screening the children for malnutrition. If identified and treated earlier, severe malnutrition can be treated. I am with Helen Keller International because I really want to make a difference. When I grew up, I have seen so many maternal and child deaths. Uh, even in my own family, I lost one of my siblings to unidentified disease. And uh, as I grew up and I, and I knew that the malnutrition is preventable and uh, even severe malnutrition is treatable, I thought I should contribute to that. I'm actually doing it and I, I feel really proud of it. It's always so powerful to hear that statistic that a severely malnourished child is nine times more likely to die. But it's also so good to know that we know what to do about it. And Carla, I bet as you watch this video, you thought nostalgically about your visit to Vietnam. And I bet you, like me, you're really eager to get back out there to visit more programs. More than you know, Kathy. More than you know. <laughs> now it's my great pleasure to introduce you to our first honoree of the evening, Henry Barkhorn an extraordinary human who has given an incredible gift to Helen Keller International. His time, his wisdom, and his vacations as chair of our board for nine years. Henry has brought his full heart and all his family and friends to Helen Keller International in a journey that he started more than a decade ago. 
I first became aware of Helen Keller in about uh, 2006 or 2007. A good friend of mine from business school, Elspeth Taylor, and Mary Burton, who I had known through common friends over the years, basically recruited me to the board. Henry was such a gift to us. The joy of working with Henry was that he had a light touch but was enormously supportive. Henry embodies what we might call a quiet generosity. Service is very much a part of his life. It's really a fabric of his being. Throughout my time as chair of the board and on the board, I have been continually impressed with the dedication and creativity of the staff in addressing the issues that confront the organization. Henry has literally traveled the world for Helen Keller International, from the westernmost point in Africa all the way to Southeast Asia. He has been shoulder to shoulder with Helen Keller as we deliver services that literally stop blindness in its tracks and give children the chance to live a healthy life. A number of experiences on those trips really struck me. On my very first trip to Tanzania, we were to visit a program where we were doing cataract surgery in the field. So we were able to see a surgeon trained under a program supported by Helen Keller, basically giving eyesight back to these people. I mean, it was like something out of the Bible, making the blind to see. I think this rounded out Henry's life in a way that almost nothing else could. Well, it took me to places in the world that I don't think I ever would have gone to otherwise. You know, it gave me an opportunity to provide some leadership to an organization that was just doing wonderful work around the world. And that was very rewarding. As board chair, Henry's not only been an extraordinary leader, he has been a guide, a support, and a true friend to me and a role model for a life led in service to others. Henry, please accept the virtual Helen Keller International Humanitarian Award with our heartfelt appreciation on behalf of the Helen Keller International staff and your fellow board members. Thank you, Kathy. And thank you to the entire staff and board of trustees of Helen Keller International uh, for uh, thinking of me in this way. It is a great honor uh, to have been involved with all of you in recent years, and I look forward to continuing that relationship going forward. I'd also like to thank my family and friends who stepped up as gala co-chairs this evening and helped corral some people to attend and hopefully to make some contributions. And I'd like to thank all of you who participated this evening and who we hope have contributed this evening or over the years for your support and rest assured that it will be put to good use in supporting our programs, improving the sight and lives of some of the most vulnerable populations in the world. Thanks again. Well deserved, Henry. Now we want you to meet another member of our amazing team, Esther Njeri, who is in Kenya, helping mothers and children stay healthy. My name is Esther Njeri. I work with Helen Keller International as the program manager for vitamin E supplementation in six counties in Western Kenya. The importance of vitamin E supplementation is that it boosts the child's immunity and it also provides healthy eyesight. The programs are important because in most homesteads, the caregivers do not know that after their children reach nine months after their immunization, the children also need to continue with the vitamin E supplementation. And hence the coverage of the vitamin E supplementation in Kenya is very low at about 20%. But with support from Helen Keller, the coverage has gone up to 80% whenever we support the campaigns. I am particularly moved when I visit a household during the campaign and I can see the mothers, the fathers, the caregivers, grandparents, siblings, run around to make sure they call all the children who are under five years to come receive the vitamin E supplementation. Some of the households are quite far. They are like five kilometers away from the nearest health facility. And the home visit saves the caregivers the time that they would have used to commute. In March 2020, the first positive case of COVID-19 was announced in Kenya. This brought a lot of fear and anxiety to the caregivers and health workers. Many avoided health facilities in fear of contracting the disease. All the schools were closed as a government directory to curb the disease. And this is our main channel to provide vitamin A, and this disrupted our program. Helen Keller, working with the Ministry of Health, decided to use the available resources, which are the community health volunteers, on how to deliver vitamin A supplementation safely at the household level 
with protection such as masks and sanitizers for all the distributors. I want to thank everyone for watching this and request that you continue supporting us so that we can continue reaching all these children with the vitamin A supplementation. Henry talked about how proud he was of the Helen Keller team. And I think we saw in that video, their resourcefulness and their determination in the face of COVID to still reach all of these children with life-saving vitamin A. Kathy, when um, you talk about that and when you hear the expression, it takes a village, it is absolutely exemplified in that video. Mm -hmm. As you all can see, glasses have kind of become my thing. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been changing my glasses every time I um, am on the screen. But I also know that there are millions of people right here in the United States who would find even a simple pair of glasses beyond reach. And here's what Helen Keller International is doing to help them. Eye care is often not valued as essential to health and well-being, especially in areas where we work, in urban centers like Newark, New Jersey, Fort Worth, Texas, Los Angeles, New York City, and other areas around the world where there are great disparities between those who have access to health care and those who are left out. If kids can't see clearly in school, they are often misdiagnosed with behavior problems or learning disabilities, when in fact, they just simply can't see. But with the help of Helen Keller International, thousands of the most vulnerable kids, even in COVID times, are receiving their very first eye screening, their very first pair of glasses, for a gift or investment of about $30, we can determine whether a child needs glasses and give them a chance. A chance to see, to be confident, to learn. It's amazing. When the kids first put on their glasses, their eyes light up, they smile, and it's like, wow, they, they can see. And we make sure the glasses are fantastic, fashionable, with color. We've expanded our vision care to others. During COVID, we pivoted to reach those who were at risk of being left behind. Homeless youth, seniors in need, underserved veterans, and refugees who are starting over in the U.S. Like Helen Keller, if each person has the help they need when they need it, each and every person can surmount obstacles and have the opportunity to realize their true potential. I get to go out and help children see, help them do better in school, help them read, help them feel good about themselves. And I get to see smiles all day. With your help, and I mean all of you watching from your living rooms tonight, we can provide eye screenings and glasses just when children need them the most to thrive in school. Thank you all so much for being here with us tonight, choosing to join us to get inspired for what we all can do, following in Helen Keller's footsteps. This brings us to our next honorees of the evening. But before I get there, a big warm shout out to Kate Gans for a very generous gift. Thank you, Kate. You all may not know Neil and Dave by name, but you've heard the name Warby Parker, surely. As co-founders and co-CEOs of Warby Parker, Neil and Dave have transformed, or as they say in their world, they've disrupted the way we shop for glasses. Even more expansive, Neil and Dave had a vision for a company that could do good in the world. Neil, Dave, and the Warby Parker team have partnered with Helen Keller International to provide glasses to thousands of kids in New York City and to seniors and to young people who would otherwise have had to go without. I was a kid who squinted at the blackboard in school and needed to sit in the very front row to read it. So I know how very important the gift of eyeglasses is. 
In fact, I doubt I would be sitting here before you today as CEO if I had not received the glasses I needed back when I was 12. We believe that vision is a fundamental human right and every single person on earth should have the ability to see well. We started Warby Parker with the belief that businesses not only have the opportunity, but have the responsibility to help make the world better. And we thought that we could help U.S. consumers by lowering the price of a pair of glasses from four or $500 to $95. But we knew even at $95, there were hundreds of millions of people around the world that didn't have access to glasses. These individuals don't have a fair chance at life. They don't have the opportunity to read and learn and work and provide for their families. That's where we came up with the concept for our buy a pair, give a pair program, where for every pair of glasses we sell, we would distribute a pair to someone in need. There's no more moving experience than seeing someone's vision restored for the first time. That magical transformative moment is incredibly powerful. We've now distributed over 8 million pairs of glasses to people in need. And when you think about the power of a pair of glasses to transform someone's life, studies have shown that it can increase productivity 35% and someone's income 20%. I mean, you talk about a poverty alleviation tool, right? Glasses are it. Here in New York City, our public school system serves 1.1 million students and over 200,000 of those students need glasses. Um, so we're proud to work with Helen Keller to provide glasses um, to those students in need. The pandemic has had a dramatic impact on populations. We've just been so inspired by how quickly Helen Keller was able to pivot a lot of their programs. We're going to face a lot more challenges, a lot more crises, but with organizations like Helen Keller, I just believe that we'll be able to continue to solve problems, but solve them faster and at larger scale. And that's what gives me hope for the future. As our Helen Keller partner, Warby Parker has given New York City school kids the amazing gift of clear vision. Now, this would have been reason enough to honor Warby Parker this evening. But during COVID, as schools shut down, Warby Parker stepped up. They did even more. They helped the Helen Keller team reach children where it was safe to find them. And they helped us reach seniors and at-risk youth with the prescriptions they needed. Neil, Dave, and the Warby Parker team, it is my great honor to present you with a Helen Keller International Visionary Award. We want to start by thanking Helen Keller International for this honor, and uh, also want to congratulate Henry Barkhorn on being recognized for his leadership and humanitarian efforts through his work with Helen Keller. In 2015, Warby Parker launched Pupils Project, a school-based program designed to provide free vision screenings, eye exams, and prescription glasses to school children in need. We estimate that in New York City alone, there are 200,000 children in public schools who need glasses, but don't have access to them. We recognize that this problem exists in our own backyard, and we're working our best to solve it. By starting Pupils Project in New York City, we have seen firsthand how much opportunity there is to impact change and have gotten the entire company excited to participate in expanding the program. With that, I'll hand it over to Neil to elaborate on who in our community has helped make Pupils Project possible. Pupils Project has truly been a team effort. We've leveraged the talent and the resources we have at Warby Parker, which consists of highly engaged, socially minded individuals who are driven by creating impact. In November of 2020, we worked with our partners at Helen Keller to pivot our Buy a Pair, Pick, Give a Pair program to provide vision services to New York City's most vulnerable students and families who are living in homeless shelters and settlement homes around the city. This year, we've provided over 800 pairs of glasses and plan to distribute over 2,000 by the end of the school year to children and their families in need. We look forward to fully resuming our work with public school students in New York City and beyond when it's safe to do so. None of this would have been possible without the work of our amazing partners at Helen Keller International who make this program possible. We are proud of this work and feel incredibly honored to be recognized in this way by Helen Keller International. Thank you so much. Talk about amazing, another amazing fact about Warby Parker. They're gonna be matching every gift you give tonight and another major donor is joining them. 
to match every gift we all give tonight up to $50,000. So that means if you give $500, your gift will become $1,000. This is now the part of our gala, Fund a Need, where we share just how far your contributions can go towards some of our most vital work. Uh, Kathy, I don't usually talk about um, my personal gifts, but tonight I'm going to. I personally give to Helen Keller because I've traveled to Vietnam with Helen Keller. And I've seen their work right here in the United States. I've seen with my own eyes that every gift at every level, no matter how big or how modest, helps children and families around the world. You have seen the videos, you've heard Kathy talk about it. A simple pair of glasses has the power to radically improve one's life. I should know. Just look at these glasses that I have, I'm gonna tell you, the privilege of wearing. It is a privilege. Now, I wanna start with a big idea. If you could give a larger gift, say $10,000, your gift would have a huge impact. $10,000 is the equivalent of an entire school of more than 300 students having their vision screen and if they need them, getting their own pair of prescription eyeglasses. And by the way, these would be cool and hip glasses kids would love to wear. Now, I know I've given away my age by saying cool and hip, but truly some really nice glasses. Now, imagine a gift of $3,000. This is the equivalent of providing 100 school kids with vision screenings and glasses if needed. In New York City, in Fort Worth, Texas, and in other urban centers where there are huge disparities between those children who, those children who have access to services and those who don't. Your gift can make an enormous impact. $3,000 can provide glasses to 100 school children who would otherwise have to go without. Going without would mean trouble in school, trouble making friends, but your gift of $3,000 would make sure those children have a chance of succeeding in school, in life. I appreciate that it's a lot to ask. Thanks for even considering a gift of $3,000. Now imagine giving an amount that might be more comfortable for some of you joining us tonight. If you could give $150, this can provide five disadvantaged school children with a vision screening and prescription eyeglasses. That will enable them to see the board, to read and do their homework, a gift that allows them to learn. And your gift will be doubled thanks to Warby Parker and another major donor doubled. So if you give $150, your gift turns into 300 thanks to these generous donors. Just click donate on your screen or go to our website hki.org backslash donate. That's hki.org backslash donate. Did I say backsplash? I'm getting my house renovated and I think I'm thinking of that, Kathy. <laughs> backslash. All right, Carla. Maybe that's why you, you've escaped to uh, Knoxville. But I'm going to jump in here and go bring us back to vitamin A. Vitamin A is found in so many familiar foods. So pop quiz for you, Carla. Easy one. Can you name a food that's rich in vitamin okay. A? <laughs> well, of course I can. Not only am I a chef, I'm also in the South. I'm a proud Southerner and a lover of sweet potatoes and carrots, which are two great foods with lots of vitamin A. Did I get it right? You absolutely got it right, 100%. <laughs> vitamin A plays a huge role in children's health and their sight, but many families aren't getting enough of this crucial vitamin. In fact, in the United States, where Carla and I are tonight, we generally have plenty of vitamin A in our diets. Like Carla said, it's in carrots. It's also in milk, in egg yolks, in dark leafy greens, and so much more of the foods that we eat. But in Africa and Asia, many children simply don't have diets that deliver the amount of vitamin A needed for good sight and good health. Vitamin A is a superpower for children's sight and health. So if you have the ability to give $10,000, your impact would be tremendous. You would support more than 30 villages with vitamin A supplements. Imagine, 
All the young children in these communities would have the chance for clear vision and to avoid the likelihood of vision loss or even blindness. What's more, your gift of $10,000 for vitamin A would strengthen the immune systems of 5,000 children so that they can fight off childhood diseases that should not have to be life-threatening. All the more important in these extraordinary COVID times as our immune systems face tremendous threats. Hmm. One thing that I've been especially impressed with is how Helen Keller spends our philanthropic gifts. Our gifts deliver real results, everybody, real results for people's lives. We know $10,000 is a lot for many, but how about a gift of $500? $500 will become $1,000 thanks to being matched by generous donors who would, who would inspire us tonight. Your gift of $500 would be giving vitamin A supplements to 250 children, protecting their sight and health so that they can grow up strong and healthy and able to see clearly. Please click the donate button on your screen or visit us at hki.org slash gala donate. I'm sorry, hki.org slash donate. I don't know why I'm having problems with this because I am really all into giving and I'm like, ah, but donate. You know, it could be your age because we used to say backslash in the olden days of computers. <laughs> I know. Uh, but you're clearly having impact, Carla, and all of you may be seeing our donors' names ticking across the screen tonight. So Carla, what you're saying is working. And I'd love to see all of your names there. My husband, Dick, and I are giving $5,000 tonight. I would love for you to join us. We have one more vital need to talk about, which is fighting hunger. COVID has triggered a tidal wave of hunger. If we work together, we can give an entire generation the chance to be nourished, to fend off hunger and malnutrition. Every gift helps children fight the rising wave of hunger that COVID has started. A generous gift of $30,000 would provide life-saving treatment to 100 children suffering from malnutrition. This is too much for you. How about $3,000? That would save the lives of 10 children who are on the brink. Your gift could also provide the supplies and training needed for a mother to grow nutritious food to feed her family so they don't get to the point of severe malnutrition. If you can imagine a gift of $10,000, imagine helping 30 women learn new skills to grow food that nourishes their family in a time when hunger is on the rise. Imagine 30 women with tools and seeds that would help them create small farms, grow nutritious foods and generate income for their families, healthy fruits, vegetables, chickens laying eggs and more. This gift would change lives for years to come. We can do it. Please give generously. Families need us. You can help stem the tide of malnutrition that is rising in COVID's wake. With the gift of $3,000, you'd be providing a full course of life-saving treatment to 10 children suffering from severe acute malnutrition. Please click donate on your screen to take extraordinary action now or go to hki.org slash donate. $3,000 might be the right amount for you to give, but if it's too much to ask, I wanna assure you that every gift of $50, every gift of $100, every gift of $250 counts. We are truly grateful for every gift. Every gift at every level counts, whether $100 or $10,000. And thanks to amazing donors, your gift will be doubled. You'd be doing more than you ever imagined. When the evening started, we'd heard from some of our guests here tonight that you were thinking about giving. Others of you have been inspired and gave on the spot tonight. We are grateful for you all. Thank you from my Helen Keller heart. <laughs> You all just did truly something amazing. You gave from your heart and there's still time to donate. But now we wanna introduce you to one more extraordinary person, a woman with what I would truly call the spirit of Helen Keller, that kind of spirit that can move mountains. Her name is Almond Miller. 
and she's providing eye screenings and glasses to kids in Fort Worth, Texas. These were brand new services in Texas that she launched for Helen Keller, and she did this during the pandemic. Greetings from Fort Worth, Texas. My name is Ms. Almond Miller, Regional Manager for Helen Keller International's U.S. Vision Program. The experience coming into Texas to start the program mid-pandemic was different. And as a professional, I had relocated with my family before. However, there was fear and uncertainty and the fear of exposing my family to COVID-19 and moving from one hotspot state to another. Despite fear, I am conscious of my assignment on this earth. And every day, I have to stay positive and keep a growth mindset. Reminding myself that there are no bad days, just character building days. There was definitely a shift in working with younger children. We began serving students pre-K through fifth grade in December of 2020. And in my professional career, my experience had been with individuals ages 10 to 94. This project is a whole new ball game. And let me tell you, I ask myself daily, are you smarter than the fifth grader? <laughs> you see, we are the motivators that offer the gift of improved vision through free eyeglasses. Daily, we tie dozens of shoelaces and switch shoes that are on the wrong feet and hold hands because a child is afraid of the tonometer. That's the tool that checks the eye pressure. There have also been life-threatening challenges, such as the team or the students, nurses, teachers, being quarantined due to COVID exposure or positive test results. And even when 4.3 million people throughout the state of Texas, including the U.S. Vision team, experienced a week-long power outage, contaminated water with freezing temperatures at 13 degrees. As a mother and leader, I must be resilient and recover quickly. I must stay focused on the goal. And most of all, you got to do it with passion. Helen Keller International U.S. Vision programs are extraordinary. And I say this because we are used to eyes passing over us or strangers looking through us. However, as an employee, I have the opportunity to look people in the eyes every day. And through this energy that exists between us, I have the opportunity to make sure they feel seen, heard, and valued. Um, and thank you so much for joining us live tonight from Texas. But before we move on, a couple more shout outs. Mary Burton, thank you for a generous gift. And Henry Barkhorn, I want you to know your fellow trustee, Bill Tapetta, has made a gift of $15,000 in your honor. And hold on to your hairdos. We have raised $1.2 million this evening. Amand, you must be our good luck charm. You go, girl. <laughs> you know, it's not always easy, but Helen Keller International makes a real difference in these children's lives. I was with a four-year-old little girl recently while I was filming for tonight's gala. And she reminded me why I do this work. She's a little hard to hear. So let's listen closely. Do those money on glasses? No, they're free. We're going to give them to you for free so you don't have to worry about it, okay? Okay. This little four-year-old girl, Mia Smith, was worried about her family might not be able to afford the glasses. And then we told her they were absolutely free. You know, I'm fortunate to do this work and the families that we serve are a worthy investment. And I hope you'll be able to help us with it tonight. Thank you, Amund, for all you do and for your courage for tackling opening a brand new program in a new city for us in the middle of COVID. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so thank you, Henry Barkhorn, for leading the way as your fellow board member. 
I've seen you in action. We are all the better because of you. And thank you, Warby Parker, for being our partner. And I get to thank tonight's co-chairs of this gala because we could not have done this without you. Your heart and your passion have been so inspiring to all of us. Thanks also to our amazing champions who led giving for the 2021 Spirit of Helen Keller Gala. I appreciate all of you extraordinary people. You all give generously and you give from the heart. I also really wanna deeply thank Helen Keller's extraordinary, and I use that word intentionally, extraordinary board members. You not only lead Helen Keller International, you also gave the most generous gifts to tonight's gala. $1.2 million. Special thanks to Jim Gaffey and Flying Monkeys Media for your creative energies and for directing and producing tonight's program and going along with all the bumps and punches. You guys have been great. <laughs> Wait a minute, Kathy, did you just give me the best assignment among all of the thank yous? Okay, here goes. Thank you. And I mean all of you. I see you in your pajamas. You know, my eyeglasses have superpowers. They see right through our screens. <laughs> I mean, you know I'm joking, but in truth, I do see you. I see that you have taken extraordinary action to help others, just as Helen Keller herself did. Carla, I have to admit, I'm selfish. I saved the best thank you for myself because I get to thank you, Carla Hall, for being with us tonight and for sharing all those wonderful pairs of glasses. I'm feeling like I need to get a pair myself. I know, wait, Kathy, I'm gonna change them right here in front of everybody. Just <laughs> to say, oh my gosh, I to be here with you tonight, that truly is a gift. I mean, thank you. And you did it, everyone. As Helen Keller said, Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much, even if it's $1.2 million worth. To all of you, namaste. Good night. <laughs>